Liam, just throw it forward. What does the future hold for you now? You no, know, we'll go back, obviously. We'll have a little bit of, bit of time off, let the cuts heal, and then you know, go back in the gym and start working back towards, you know, obviously, another world title shot. How much do you take from tonight, you know, the whole experience of this week? The week was, was unbelievable, Steve. It's obviously, I wish I could do the whole week again. Loves every bit of it. Um, everything up to, you know, the, the, the fight, obviously. We'll have to see what when I come back what I've learned from the fight, but you know I loved I loved it all besides the end result. And if you look at the future, there's, there's some great fights out there, even at home. Kel Brook, Amir Khan, isn't there? Yeah, you know we'll see what, what obviously what the, what the future holds, but you know we'll we'll go back and we'll plan our own with you know we're not thinking around anyone else. You know we'll see what way we want to go and what way what way gets us back back in where we want to go. What's your plans for the immediate few weeks? Um, not I'm just, just obviously chill, rest, rest, let the cuts heal, and then I was to get back in the gym. Obviously, you know I had the cuts all the way through, so I'm gonna let it heal properly now. Obviously, I come out right away, so obviously we're gonna heal properly. You had the cut, but there's no regrets about taking the no, fight. No, no way, no. But the cuts weren't a problem. The cuts didn't affect the outcome. You know what I mean? The cuts, as I said all along, I weren't afraid of the cut. The cuts wasn't running the eye. I weren't, I weren't bothered about the cuts. You've lost tonight, but when you look back here at the end of your career. Could this be one of the best nights of your career because of the build up, the atmosphere and no, everything? No, I told you, Steve, I weren't coming for the occasion, I weren't coming, I'm fucking gutted. You know, and, I, and I'll probably climb my eyes up tonight when I go to bed, but I didn't come for to make up numbers and fight in front of 50,000 people. I come to win, I lost my title tonight, Steve, so, you know, no, not really, obviously. Unless I come back in, here in three years' time and beat someone here, then yeah, but, no, not really, no, I'm, I'm gutted. Thanks a lot, man. Joe, disappointing night for you, but. It's still a smile on your face, a little one of that. No, it's, um, it's in first and foremost, it's in huge respect and congratulations to uh, Team Alvarez. Um, everyone at Golden Boy looked after us brilliant this week and uh, like I say, came here tonight, atmosphere, unbelievable, 50, I've heard now it's 51, 52,000 we're here tonight and uh, an unbelievable, but I thought the fight was a, a very good fight. We knew it would be competitive. Uh, lots of people had it 4-2 after 6, 3-2 after 5 and uh, like I say the first shot I was going mad at the referee because I, I think it was a three punch salvo which started with a low shot first and finished with the last shot which was on the back of the head um, but Liam assured me all the way through the fight he was uh, comfortable with the power um, and then like I say the second shot was sort of like a delayed reaction in, in the middle of the pit and then you've got know, to take your hat off there to a, a world class body shot from a world class fighter in the last, in the last one. Was there anything about Canelo that surprised you? No, nothing really that. I knew he'd be looking for the right uppercuts. I was surprised how quick he, he came down off his feet. I think there was one round, I think it was five and in, and didn't come out of his corner. He was just there playing possum. And then it was second wind, and then when he came for Callum, or for Liam, for the second knockdown, he was breathing heavy, he was above us in the ropes, and you see the heart pumping him and everything else. And I said, Hold on, Steve, we'll just get them around 7 8 and get them championship rounds 10, 11, 12. Um, but Liam said this and he was very cute inside, he was very good at riding the, the body shots and uh, he, he, he's been in against elite levels. Liam Smith will be a better fighter for going through this fight and this experience and yeah, sharing the ring with someone like that. Yeah, that's an elite level against a world class fighter. Do you think Liam can improve and become an elite fighter himself in years to come? Because he's still very fresh, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. And like I say, it was his first step up tonight. I think uh, people give. Um, Canelo loads of stick for taking this fight. I think they were surprised there tonight how competitive the fight was. And um, Sal Alvarez may have won the fight, but didn't have everything all his own way tonight. Um, like I say, Liam come through this experience and uh, it'll be better for it. He's uh, had a taste of the big time now, and I'm sure he'll be wanting to get in there. And uh, more than most importantly, he wants to win his world title back again. Alvarez, I don't think, will be sticking around to defend this, and uh, Liam are wanting to, to get in, stuck into the likes of a, a Cotto and someone else like that. I don't think Liam Smith will ever fight in the uh, UK again after after tonight and this poor performance here. I think he'll be back over in America. I mean, a lot of people saying HBO would certainly have him back, wouldn't they, on that? Yeah, definitely. Frank's already came up to me and said, "Listen, HBO have said, listen, we'll have Liam Smith back over here anytime." So, and uh, a lot of the belts are over here, this part of the world. So, yeah, he's a he's an entertaining uh, fighter, and uh, he'll learn and progress from this now. How long would you like to see Liam take a rest out of the gym before he starts back up again? Yeah, next year Liam Smith will fight. Now he's good break. Steve, it was like, no matter what, if you're playing the Champions League final, you can't play keepy uppies, drills 
all stuff like if you ain't playing football and Smith's gone into battle tonight from five weeks without doing any sparring that's no excuses it was the cut he was adamant he wanted to fight and we went on with the fight we did the best that we could we went into battle with one arm behind our back today and you see the first few rounds his timing was way out um, but he started to warm into the fight get his rhythm started going but listen great work by Alvarez but uh, Liam Smith can uh, just come out of this covered himself in glory tonight Joe thanks very much indeed yeah no problem